We live and breathe in an area that's just flourishing in terrestrial life and out in the ocean. But the ocean is what's made us so rich and culturally. One of the things that I remember doing with my family is collecting shells. We grew up in the Northwest on this landscape and we moved in when, when the glaciers melted. We're all here for a reason and this environment around us. Puget Sound is the heart and soul of Western Washington. This is our oyster processing plant where we do our live oysters and our frozen oysters. We do about uh, 50 million oysters a year through this plant. The shellfish industry is a very Northwest thing. It's a family business, it's a local business. There are shellfish companies who've been in a family for three, four, five generations. We have certainly seen an impact. I mean, in the hatchery, there have been uh, seed failure years. In the early years when this was happening, it was very perplexing to our hatchery workers. You know, they, they didn't know why they were having failures. Through working with scientists and researchers, you know, we've just started to get a handle on, on what's going on and how to test for it. Ocean acidification is um, it's a change in seawater chemistry that makes it less friendly to many organisms. It's just like if you've ever had a fish tank or an aquarium, and you have to keep all the chemical and the pH balances just so. We've now reached a point along the Pacific coast where we're out of balance. We've had some successes, more in the last few years, but there's still, it's still a very daunting problem. So we already have acidity levels that are high enough at times that they are dissolving the shells of things like mussel and oyster larvae. When you see failures of calcium carbonate shelled organisms, that's an indication that the whole rest of the base of the food chain is also in danger. We're in a situation where jobs are actually moving out of Washington State because of this environmental impact. I am hopeful in my line of work. I'm seeing Republicans and Democrats, liberals and conservatives, all sorts of people coming together around a common recognition that there is a significant problem. I think there's so much hope around the fact that they are taking action. Quite frankly, the more complex problem you take on and solve, the more you get people behind you. Exploring things like rebuilding seagrass beds and getting a much better grip on the science in our more dynamic estuaries. Uh, potentially looking at things like nutrient runoff. There are more localized actions that we can take that'll go hand in hand with the efforts we're putting in place to try to bring carbon emissions down. Well, where we're at now is we can't just go on. You know, I got a, a granddaughter that <laughs> She's seven, and everything in life is new to her. And she has no concept of, of what we've gone through just to get to where we are today. One could argue we haven't done a great job. We need to keep working on that and give the next generation and the one after that a chance to continue and finish the job. My mom and my dad shared a lot with me about the importance of life, the importance of relationships the importance of living healthy and healthy environments, and I'm doing the same.